Hey guys, welcome back to the video or the log should I say today we're going to be shell, um, felting this shed roof so the tools you require are a Stanley knife similar to that one you'll need some clout nails like these these are three quarters in length and we also need some green mineral shed felt we also require a hammer as well the first thing you need to do is clear the roof of nails like you need to strip the roof of old felt first and get rid of the nails so you just have to try and get these nails out they do come out you just have to get the claw under there we go there you go you need to get rid of all these nails out of the boarding there's another one there let's give it a bit of a waggle and out come the nails these are only the um, three eighths inch ones so they're slightly shorter now them are just so they don't poke through the other side of the, the wood but where we're using these today simply because them's all I've got but they're also easier to handle because you you can't get your thumbs in so you either need a tack hammer or you need to put them in like a drawing pin and then tap them in with the hammer like that but uh, we're not using those type today, we're using these type. These will poke through the woodwork on the other side, but this is only a lean to shed, so we're not too bothered about that. So, the first thing you need to do is measure how much you need. Once you have your tape measure set up, you need to get it to the edge and this measure is 86 inches approximately so what you need to do is measure at least all the way around so we need at least 90 inches of felt then of course because this is a lean-to shed it's going up against the brickwork there so we need at least another three inches three or four inches so the true measurement is about say 94 inches or so what you need is a nice flat area to roll it out make sure there's no bits on the floor so you don't want things poking through it so you take the measurement you took earlier you measure it out so we said about 94 inches Look there It's also important you don't step on it because you don't want any holes in it. And there. Thanks to this video I'm using, this is just a piece of scrap plywood which is long enough to go across the joint. It also means I can kneel on it. I know I do. Then all you need to do is roll up the felt. All you need to 
take it over to the shed. So, what you have to do is uh, get it up into position. Make sure that you've got enough at both ends. Just uh, bring it down. Make sure you've got enough overhang at the front. And there you have it, that's the shed felt down. Now some people stick this down, but we're not going to do that today because it is literally just a lean-to shed, so we don't really need to do a lot with it. The next thing you do is just run a load of tacks along the top edge like this. And about three or four inches apart. So this is the second piece. As you can see it's overlapped, what I've done is just used a full overlap, I haven't cut the uh, felt down by any any length. Um, it's always better to do it that way because as much overlap as you can get is better. You just come along to the end here. It is, there you go, there's the overlap. So there's at least 18 inch, now I would recommend a minimum of about 6 inch if you are doing it and um, so you want this to come whether with that one so that it comes down and underneath there that will help it drip off the water so all we need to do is trim it up Again, you need to tack the edges down. So as you can see, I've put a row of tacks along that edge. That will hold that down. That stops the wind getting underneath and obviously holds the um, felt to the roof. Now, when you're doing the corners, you need this here to overlap because there will be a piece of guttering on there so this needs to run into the guttering but the corner needs to be like that so it's a bit like folding a bed corner so what you do is you just tack that in like that and grab these tacks you remember I've got the three quarters tacks here just grab a couple of tacks and show you what I mean. But you have to forgive me, I'm holding the camera, so I'm going to tack that there. And it should hold that in place like that. So to straighten go straighten the clout up then you hold that corner in place like that with that so you could put another one there if you wish but all these down here will need tacking in and because this is going up against the wall we need to trim this off as well so basically what you do to trim it up against the wall is that needs to be flat against there then you just need to cut down here then tuck that back back round and bring this back across like that and you make another corner similar to the front so we've basically got that so 
basically to get around this pipe here now you wouldn't normally have this sticking through your shed but unfortunately can't move it so you just basically cut down and go around it like that and then we're going to use some flash band tape to mould it into the pipe work so it doesn't leak so we'll do that now So you get the idea what we're doing is we are literally just moulding this stuff around the pipe just to seal it in. The other thing you can do is use expanding foam and then paint it with some uh, bitumen paint which we might do that later on. But for today we're just going to do this temporary fix I think because it needs something a little bit more to go around there. Um, but I just don't want any water going through because I need to seal it tonight. So this is roof and gutter sealant and what we're going to be doing it is running it down the back edge of there just to stick the um, felt to the brickwork on this particular shed. So there we go, we're just running last bit of, it's quite stiff difficult to do is this because the adhesive is obviously quite thick but once you get it out and stuck on now this will offer an adequate seal like I said this is just a shed I mean I wouldn't recommend this doing on your roof on the, the actual house because it will won't stand the test of time but this is the cheapest way of attaching it to the wall there we go so all that's left to do is to simply push it up against the wall and help squeeze it out And because this is brickwork as well, it sticks quite well. I mean, if you're using stone, you need to use some sort of um, primer. Again, we're going around some wires there, but they're only for the CCTV system, so they need to be accessible. And there you have it. We've got a, quite a decent seal against the wall, so that should hold the water out. Your other option is to use the flash band, and the best way of doing it is to grind the seam out there, and then tuck it in, and then tuck your flash band in into the seam, and then bring it down over the top as well so that is another way of doing it but it's like I said this is just a shed at the end of the day so we might want to take it out later on and do something else so there we go guys that is how you fell to shed roof I've got the guttering ready here now but I don't know if you can notice now it's just started raining so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead I just like I said this is possibly the cheapest option 
for sealing it against the brickwork if you're doing a lean to type shed like this one so this is basically the shed here still got the doors to put on and the guttering to put on but I'll do another video for the guttering to show you how to set up guttering which will apply to your house as well and um, it should be all right but like I said if you're doing this as a cheap option it's cheaper than using lead flashing lead is very expensive um, the other option is to use the flash band like at the end there but I only had a little bit of flash band left so I've just used it around the soil pipe there and um, like I said all you need to do is grind out the seam and then bring it down over the top like that but um, yeah you could do that later on I suppose uh, but this this will offer a brilliant seal against the brickwork here so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and that is how to felt a shed roof thanks for watching